Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, I'm heading back up into central London for a good old bit of car spotting. The summer supercar season is fast approaching, so I thought, you know what, why not? I've got a spare day, let's go see what is around. I've got Luke from LK Horizon behind in the 124 Spider that he's got on loan at the moment. There should already be a video live of my first drive of that car, so go check that out if you haven't already. For now, we're just on our way up into London now, so I'll catch up with you when we get there. So we are here at last at Joe Macari's. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the intro, but the first stop today is at Joe Macari's. You can see we've got some pretty nice cars here. We've got a BB, a Dino, a California, and some sort of Alpha tucked away in the corner there. But F12 TDF, I'm not sure if you can see that. But, um, oh, I've been waiting to see this one for so long and I've finally seen it. Fully blacked out spec with a whole host of red accents. We've got the red calipers, red centre caps, red pinstriping, which goes right away around. Red little pinstripe on the mirror as well, all around the front bumper, and then I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see because it's got tints, but all through the interior as well. Oh yes. <laughs> So as soon as you walk in the door, you're greeted with a, quite frankly, ridiculous lineup. We've got a Volcano Yellow P1, we've got a Giallo Modena Enzo, and we have a Solar Beam Yellow P1 GTR. And then in the background, we've also got a 918 and a LaFerrari, just to top things off. So taking a look, first of all, at the P1 here, finished in Volcano Yellow, as I said. This one's actually finished with the McLaren Heritage badge, which is a very, very nice option. Moving around to the side, we've got the P1 logo on the wing mirror as well and also the six point harness which is very very important and also i don't think an option you see very often this one of course sat in race mode the best mode obviously and oh it just looks so so good moving on down we've got the giallo modena enzo which i was talking about this being i believe the first yellow enzo that i've actually seen but what is quite interesting is just how different each of the yellows are uh, but i'll get onto that more a little bit later on moving inside we've got the full black leather interior with the contrast yellow stitches and even though the Enzo is pretty much 15 years old now it's surprising how modern it looks compared to something like a P1 or even a P1 GTR. Moving on to the P1 GTR then this is number 27 uh, but it was actually the 30th P1 GTR built not sure how that works but um yeah a little confusing this one of course is not one of the road legal ones so it's one of about 20 which hasn't been converted this means obviously that it doesn't have the indicator on there we've got one singular race seat no passenger seat and i think it also sits slightly lower as well and also while we're at the p1 gtr i must add that this here is the battery charger now on other supercars such as say a revent on here <laughs> the battery chargers are normally about the size of that little plug here but this being hybrid system it has a massive one anyway moving a little further on into the dealership we've got a lamborghini revent on roadster one of 20 in the world f12 tdf finished in rosso fuoco standard f12 very cool to see both of those together this one interestingly doesn't have the ferrari shields on it very strange one of few that i've seen without that F430 Spider, Kuntash, Mura, and the list goes on. At this place is an absolute dream. I come up to London uh, to do a bit of supercar spotting I always try and pay a visit here to Joe McCarrage because no matter how many times I come here the stock is always different and there's always some surprises um, and there's some cars in here which you'll struggle to see elsewhere and it's just absolutely breathtaking I believe I've said this in a video before but if you are ever in the London area come here to Joe McCarrage check it out because you will not be disappointed so then the Reventon Roadster as I was saying a little bit earlier on in the video one of 20 cars worldwide there's also 20 coupes 
Um, but yeah, this has probably got to be one of the closest things you can get to a fighter jet. Lamborghini, uh, I don't know if you guys know, took inspiration heavily from a fighter jet when designing this car. And to be honest, you really can see that. From the front here, you've got the typical Lamborghini uh, sharp lines. And just check that out. It's all very triangular. Even the headlights and some of the lines are all very triangular. It's also finished in this stealth satin grey, which I believe is a fixed spec for the Revenant. I don't think you can spec it in any other colour, um, hence why you never see any brightly coloured ones around. Well, to be fair, you don't really see these around, so it's very, very cool to see them here. Now, according to that little plaque in there, this is number 15 of 20. Um, and actually, let me show you the interior. Obviously based off of the Mercher Largo, and probably one of my favourite features on the Reventon, which unfortunately we can't see today because the dash is not on, um, it is pretty much a fighter jet style dashboard, which is just incredible. One last thing before I move on, check out those wheels with the carbon uh, inserts. It's just such a cleverly designed car, and so, so manic, that air intake there. Oh, it's absolutely crazy. Moving back to this F12 TDF, of course, sorry, <laughs> I can't help it. Finished in Rosso Fuoco, which is probably one of the best Ferrari colours that you can order. But one of the interesting things I've found about this car is it has different seats. They're almost inverted. So this one's a red seat with black inserts, and this one's a black seat with red inserts. I understand you probably can't see this very well. Um, but yeah, the whole interior is pretty bright, <laughs> not gonna lie. The only thing I'm not too sure about is the coloured steering wheel. I think that the steering wheel kind of blends in a bit too much to the dash when it's kind of got the uh, red Alcantara. Um, but still, it's a TDF. <laughs> I cannot complain in the slightest. To be honest with you, I think I could probably spend a whole day in here just looking and admiring all the cars. Because to be fair, this place is absolutely massive. Um, and it's absolutely jam-packed of not only modern stuff, but also a ton of classics as well. Some of which I really don't know anything about. Um, but still very cool to see nonetheless. But anyway, I really need to stop fooling over all these cars now. I think let's hop in the car and head to Central. Oh, hello. So I can't help but park up to take a closer look at this TDF. This is actually the third one we've seen today, so as far as I'm concerned, that's a pretty good day so far. This is one I've seen before. I saw it at Auto Italia last year. Uh, it's finished in this silver. I'm not sure on the color name, actually, so if anyone can tell me, let me know down the comments below. There's also a light blue stripe. Now, if you know me, you'll know that I absolutely love the TDF. This is actually my favourite car in the whole wide world um, and this is definitely one of the best specs I've seen. But anyway, I think we'll take a little look around this and then pop back in the car and see what else we can find. That is the nicest colour. 275 GTB. Boom. <laughs> 288 GTO. Just chilling here at the Dorchester. Only 272 of these were made, making it officially the rarest of the big five Ferraris. I have not seen one of these things on the road. I don't think I've ever seen one on the road, actually. I certainly haven't seen one either at a car show or out here in so long. And oh my God, it is so, so special to see it just chilling here at the Dorchester Hotel.
the rain is starting to come down here in London, I think I'm going to call it a day and head off home. Overall, it's been a pretty decent one to be fair. We've seen some awesome cars. I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. If you have, make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.